Hello, in front of me I have Black Shark 5 and I'm gonna show you a few tricks you can use on this device. First I'm gonna show you how to change the uh, navigation or system navigation type on this device. So let's open the settings on our phone. In settings scroll down, find the uh, home screen option and tap on it. Here tap on system navigation and as you can see right here we have two types of navigations we can select from. The first one is the buttons. So basically you have the buttons right here on the bottom of the screen and you can use them to navigate the system. We have the back button, the home button and the menu or recent tasks button. And we can uh, use them by tapping on them like this. And we can do a couple of things with them also. We can customize them a little. We can enable or disable the option to mirror the buttons. Basically, they will sw switch the sides, the uh, menu and the back button. We can tap on button shortcuts to make a shortcut for them. For example, uh, we can tap on one li like long press the menu button, select something like um, uh, turn off screen. And now when I press and hold on the recent tasks slash menu button, it will turn off uh, the screen. Uh, for some reason it didn't work. Let me check why. Oh, because it was not selected for some reason. Okay, turn off screen now and the screen will turn off like this. And you can customize a couple of the shortcuts as you can see. Okay. Um, below we have also automatically disable navigation buttons. You can basically enable it for certain apps and the uh, buttons will be disabled or should be disabled uh, when the when you open the app, basically. This option is a bit wonky, doesn't work too well, but that's how it works, I believe. Okay, let's go back. Now we can select the different type, the gestures. This allows you to perform uh, or rather navigate the system by using the gestures on the screen. So for example, if you want to go back, you swipe from the edge of the screen to the middle of the screen, like this, and it works from the both edges, so left or right edge. Next, if you want to go to home screen, you swipe from the bottom to the top, like this. And if you want to open the recent tasks, tasks rather, you swipe from the bottom to the middle and hold for a second or two to open the recent, recent tasks, like this. And we can also enable or disable the, the option to hide full uh, screen indicator and also to enable or disable the gesture confirmation. Okay, so that's how you change the system navigation. Now, let's go back to settings. In settings, scroll down, find the option called additional settings and tap on it. And here we have a couple of things I want to show you. First, we have the master trigger. This option allows you to custom customize the triggers on your phone. Basically, this phone comes with the uh, switch right here or right here and right here on the top and bottom of the phone. And this switch allows you to pop out the trigger buttons. Basically, this is the gaming phone. That's why you have this option. And we can assign different shortcuts for these buttons and customize what they do with this master trigger menu. So what we can do, for example, is to open the button, pop it out, and you should see the bubble right here and you can tap on it. And here you can select the shortcut for it. So for example, let's see, I want to, or le le let's say rather, I want to uh, clear the cache with it. So I'm gonna press and hold on the clear, clear memory like this, drag it to the bubble. This should be replaced right here. And now we can tap on complete. And now when we hide the button, open it, the bubble pops out, we can press the button to perform the shortcut. Quite simple. We can do the same for the bottom shortcut. So let's open it, tap on the bubble, uh, maybe set the screenshot so it, to it to it rather. So we're gonna drag it here, tap complete. And now when we hide it, open it, press the button, it will take a screenshot. You can also uh, enable or rather assign the applications for it. So for example, if you swipe left right here in this menu, you can open the applications. So I'm gonna drag the Google Play here, tap on complete, oh, hide it, open it, press the button and it's gonna open the Google Play. Quite useful in my opinion and quite cool. Okay, <clears throat> so next we can enable or disable the uh, shoulder key shortcut function. So if you disable this option, the pop-up menu, the shortcut menu will not appear when you open the buttons. So if you want to use the shortcuts with the buttons, this option needs to be enabled. 
as you can see. Below that, we have the master trigger screen off function. This option allows you to perform the short, uh, shortcuts with the triggers when the screen is off. So we can tap on it, uh, turn it on, and now select the function, for example, camera uh, photo mode in and camera photo or video mode. And now when we turn off the screen, open the button, double press it, I believe, or press it once. I think it's double press, but I may be wrong. Yeah, it is double press. Okay, so you need to double press it basically uh, to perform the shortcut. So lock the screen, open button, double press it to perform the shortcut like this. Okay, and that's how it works. And you can select only between camera and flashlight. Okay. Next, we can scroll down and here we can customize the button themselves. We can, buttons rather, we can enable or disable the haptic for them. So the phone won't vibrate or will vibrate uh, when you switch the buttons. We can change the sound effect. For example, we can select something like meow. Like that. Um, we can also uh, customize the gaming scene. So if you're playing, you can enable or disable the haptic. You can change the sound effects while playing and also light effects like this. Okay. Okay, so we're done with the trigger. Now we can tap on switch right here and here we have the shortcuts for the switches. So basically the switches that you use to pop out the trigger. And we can do a couple of things for them. We can enable the shortcuts for them. So now when you enable the toggle switch shortcut function, you can tap on shortcut right here. We have the upper or lower switch. We can tap on the shortcut on the upper and find something to open, for example, screenshot. So. The upper button has the screenshot and the lower button, let's select something like, I don't know, screen record, okay? And now to perform the shortcuts with them, we need to uh, close the trigger and quickly open it like that to perform the shortcut. And we can also do the same with the lower button. Quite simple and quite cool, if you ask me. We can also do this for the turn off screen, of course. So we can tap on toggle with the screen off and we can enable it, select one of the options. And when the screen is off, we can perform the shortcut like this. Okay, that's about the triggers. Now, another thing I want to show you is the magic ball or quick ball rather, right here, quick ball, tap on it. And here we can turn it on. And if you turn on, if you turn on the quick ball, this basically allows you to have this this little shortcut menu on the side. You can tap on it; it's barely visible right here. And this will open the shortcut menu, and we can do a couple of things, like for example, take a screenshot and stuff like that. And we can customize this menu. To do it, simply uh, tap on select shortcuts. And here we can tap on one and select something like Bluetooth. Next, let's tap on lock and select something like silent. And now when we tap on this icon, it will open the menu. We have Bluetooth, should turn, off the, turn on the Bluetooth, turn it off like that, uh, silent like this. We can also change the order of the icons on the list. So for example, let's move the bug to the top like that. If you open the menu, the bug will be here. Quite simple. And next we have the preferred gesture. You can select tap or swipe. Then we have hide automatically. Here you can uh, turn it on for the apps. And if you, for example, enable it for Chrome and open the Chrome, the uh, quick ball will disappear. It will, won't be visible anymore. So if you don't want to have it in certain apps, it's gonna disappear. Next, we have move aside when full screen. So if you uh, open something in full screen, it will move aside. And then we have stick to the edge after three seconds of an activity. And here you can enable it or disable it. So basically it's gonna hide itself if you enable this option. And you can also set the wake up areas. And here you can customize them by swiping on the bar. So basically f f f f how far from the edge of the screen you need to tap to open this menu. Quite, uh, okay, that's about it, about the quick ball. Uh, next thing I want to show you is, is the um, magic press. So let's tap on it. And this option allows you basically to open the different shortcut menu. So if you enable it, you can press and hold in the area where you have the fingerprint sensor, press and hold firmly to open this menu basically. And you can then swipe 
on it to perform the action like this and we can uh, select different uh, options we have vibration feedback we have the force of pressure sensor and stuff like that so if you enable or disable the vibration feedback it will vibrate or, or will not vibrate when you open the menu uh, the force of pressure sensor basically here you can select or choose how hard you need to press on the screen to open this menu and you can change it by swiping on the slider and then we have options like suspend and we can tap on it and here we can uh, select different uh, options for the suspend different shortcut then we have the flick up flick down and stuff like that you can customize the shortcuts like this so when you open the menu you can perform different actions with them okay let's go back and i'm gonna show you the last thing which is gesture shortcuts let's tap on it and here we can basically turn on and turn off some uh, shortcuts like uh, launch google assistant take a screenshot and stuff like that so first let's tap on launch google assistant and we can enable the shortcut for them for it by tapping on the switch and what it does it will uh, basically turn off the power menu and if you press and hold the power button it will open the google assistant so if you like google assistant you might want to use this option next we have the take a screenshot and here you can enable or disable to take a screenshot with the three fingers so if you enable this option you can take a screenshot by swiping three fingers on the screen swiping them down quite simple next we have launch camera and here you can basically um, enable shortcuts to launch the camera like double press the power button like this uh, uh, next we we have the um, double press volume down when the screen is turned off so if you turn off the screen double press the volume down it will open the camera like that and that's about the camera next we have turn on torch so basically we can turn on the uh, f flashlight and we can enable the option to turn it on by double pressing the power button okay and that's about it that's about all i want to show you thank you for watching if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.